What is up, gamers? And welcome back to another episode of New Game Plus. As always, I am your host, Amanda Cunningham, joined with me by my trusty co-host, AJ Tanari. Aloha, gamers. And our wonderful and trusty producer, Ryan Cunningham. Ryan needs his mic on. <laughs> I need him a mic on. Hello. Hello, hello. It's Tuesday. And and that wait, wait, is. wait, it gets better. We have our interns back there. Yeah. We have yeah. intern Alex. Hello, he Alex. Big Al. There's our guy. Big Al. Big Al. And we also have intern Fatiday. Yeah, a classic, an icon. Just ran into Alex. Just ran into Alex. Ah. <laughs> uh. Thank you all for being here. Yeah. All right. All right. <laughs> all right. So this week, uh, we're yeah, we're a little behind the ball on this one, but that's okay. Um, we have nothing better to talk about because exactly. this is all we talk about. Yeah. We will be uh, recapping the Pokemon Presents that took place last, last week? week. Yeah. Yeah. Last last Sunday. It was a Sunday. Which is, I thought was super odd. You're sick of the Pokemon content? Too bad, because we're not. Yeah, seriously. Losers. <laughs> Absolute bums. So, uh, yeah. I mean, to give like an overall... Uh, Overview? Or, yeah, uh, mm. of, the, uh, of the present. I thought it was okay. Mm -hmm. Obviously, the ending with the big announcement yeah. uh, mainly saved the Direct from just being all about gaming updates for games that have already been out. Um, but, you know, who doesn't like Pokemon news? Exactly. So, you know, well, why don't we just get right into it? All right, so the first, uh, the first thing that was... Uh, an <laughs> the having... first announcement. I know, yeah, I can't think of words today. So Pokemon Go was the first mm -hmm. uh, topic brought up, and uh, that's right. It is somehow, some way, relevant enough to keep getting updates. That's crazy, man. It's been, what, 26 years since it's been out, I think? Yeah, yeah. Um, I have, as I mentioned in one of our uh, previous episodes, I am a fan from far away, but I still can't believe that it, it still has such a following that they still do this. Mm -hmm. uh, but I was an OG, so I still have my Charmander starter as well. So Just silently wasting away in your phone? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we don't talk about that. But anyway, so in this new update for Pokemon Go, Players will now be seeing Alola Pokemon pop up oh, in game. Interesting. Now, while a lot of the Alolan forms of Pokemon are rather interesting, shout out to Muck, hate it. There are some forms that I really, really like, such as uh, Raichu and Vulpix. I think those are good ones. I love Vulpix. I hate Persian and Meowth. Those ones are awful. They're terrible. Absolutely. Um, but yeah, so obviously uh, it's March eighth now, so the Pokemon game has or the Pokemon update has already been released for the last eight days. But I really hope gamers are happy with it and uh, are ready to expand their collection of the little mons. Little mons. Um, there's definitely I, I like I have some. I have a Muck. I have a Persian. I have a Ratatat. I have an Executor. Mm -hmm. Like all the little ones. Yeah, I don't understand. Like maybe I don't know. Maybe they're just adding more forms. What's it up to like currently? Is it Gen? Is it Gen Eight? Yes, Gen Eight was okay. added in the summer. Interesting. Yeah. So I'm not sure. Uh, but either way, Pokemon Go. Go Pokemon Go. All right, moving on in <clears throat> the uh, presents. Pokemon Masters EX is celebrating two and a half years. That's all I got. Fair enough. Never played it. Not familiar with it, and I don't really have much to say about it. What about you guys? Uh, I played Masters. I'd say for like a solid. Five days, maybe. Mm -hmm. And I was like, this is kind of boring. Okay. And also killed my battery, tanked my battery. So is I, it I mobile? Deleted it. Yeah, it's mobile. I uh, don't see the appeal of mobile. Nah, I mean, it's fine, but it's, it's, it's kind of something you try once, and then if, if it's for you, you go. It's also yeah. very heavy on microtransactions, so. Yeah. Gotta love it. Well, two and a half years in the making. How about that? Hey, the game's great. Yeah, Ryan, big, big it? master head. Oh. Not at all. Well, this guy. This yeah. guy. <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh. It's stinky. Yeah. <laughs> uh oh. I never played it. Stinky. <laughs> uh oh, stinky. Uh oh. Uh oh. All right. So yeah, that's it. Uh, Pokemon Masters mm -hmm. EX. Moving on. Pokemon Cafe Remix. You know, uh, never played it, but I think it's a really cute game. Neither have I. Um, but yes, Remix fans, you are getting a brand new update with 
a lot of cool new features, such as, I'm going to break it down. Here we go. A new delivery feature, which lets the Pelipper, or the, the, the. Pelipper. <laughs> the one Pelipper. <laughs> that, was, that, was a, that was a typo. A new delivery feature with let's Pelipper deliver food items and spread word about your cafe and meet new Pokemon. Ryan, we're professionals, don't worry about it. What's happening? We're talking about the one specific Pelipper. You know the one, Ryan. The one Pelipper. The one Pokemon Cafe Remix Pelipper. Exactly. Give guys, I, I give you guys freedom to do this. And freedom is a bold word, my friend. It is a bold word, but I'm using it anyway. You know what, Ryan? What are you guys doing in the show? What are we doing? What are you doing? No. Anyway, continue. <laughs> okay, so, yes, new outfits. Uh, you get new gimmicks to unlock to help you with your gameplay. Um, here we go. Ooh. A new mythical... We're not new. The mythical Pokemon, Victini. The mythical Pokemon, guys. <laughs> appears for the first time. That's pretty cool. There's three special events. Uh, time period is now over, but a shiny ah. Piplop had an increased chance to show up at your cafe. And uh, yeah, that's about it. So uh, there's your Pokemon Cafe Remix Breakdown. Enjoy it. All right. Cool. Moving on. Pokemon Unite. Pokemon Unite was only released last July, but it seems to have been making a name for itself mm -hmm. so far. So let's check out these new updates. You get a new battle feature, a uh, full Fury battle. Pokemon event is taking place with mythical Pokemon Hoopa. So is Hoopa like a playable character or just like... <laughs> yes, okay. players can play as Hoopa. Neat. Uh, you get a limited edition outfit for this new Pokemon event. And uh, there also is a new Pokemon joining the fight. Duraludon. Oh. I, I got you, man. Don't worry. All right. Sorry, guys. I'm trying my best here. All right. So that's Pokemon. I told you you, know. you pronounced it wrong. I know. You were saying it yesterday, and I told you it was wrong. Or are you saying Duraludon? I said, <laughs> no, I said Duraludon. Duraludon? Duraludon? Well, as we found out last like episode. Ah. What? Yeah. Oh, yeah. They're good. Obviously. Yeah. I don't know. Listen. Don't give me that face, we're, AJ. We're, <laughs> we're professionals here. We're, we're big in the cough drop game, guys. <laughs> They should make Pokemon... Uh, cough drop meta. Yeah. Pokemon cough drops. Yeah. They probably sell them in Japan. Yeah, that's very true. I gotta go to Japan one day. New game Me too. coughs. Huh? What? That's what Faraday said. New game, game coughs. New game coughs. Yeah, guys, check out our new show. New game no, coughs. That's, that's our brand of cough drops. That yeah. is our brand. Anyway. And it's coming to a store this. near you. All right. Uh, God. Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shine and Pearl. Uh, very short presentation, but I guess cool nonetheless. Uh, players will be able to access Professor Oak's letter via mystery gift oh. that will allow them to receive the mythical Pokemon, nice. Shaman. I still need to finish my playthrough of Pearl, but uh, I get a new Pokemon, so uh, heck yeah. I also need to finish it. I've barely touched it. Yeah, I don't... Between uh, this and Sword and Shield, I'm have, I had a lot more fun with Shield. Mm -hmm. um, but, you know, it's okay. Yeah, Gen we're four. having fun. Yeah, we're having we're fun. We're trying. Exactly. Uh, and speaking of... Fun? <laughs> I'm going to say Pokemon. <laughs> Pokemon Legends Arceus. Oh, by the way, it's, it's Arceus, not Arceus. Uh, debatable. Really? Because in the Pokemon Present, they said Arceus. Well, I say Arceus and what I say goes, so... That's true. Mm -hmm. uh, AJ is the Alpha and the Omega, so what exactly. he says goes. Sorry, guys. Screw you, Doug Bowser. I'm in charge now. And there we go. There you have it. All right. So another really short presentation with Arceus, but still pretty cool if you do enjoy the game. Uh, the new update, Daybreak, features uh, new investigations about mass outbreaks of Pokemon in the Hisui region. Mm, nice, nice. New Pokemon battles with allied Pokemon trainers at the training grounds. And a new animation is in development following mm. an original story in the Hisui region. Interesting. Yeah, and uh, that's about it. So uh, I still need to get to Arceus. I'm very excited to get to it. Uh, it's open world, obviously. Mm -hmm. so. Very cool. It looks very different. Very excited for the shakeup and the formula. Yeah. But I still need to get it. Yeah. <laughs> still need to beat Diamond. I'm very behind on my gaming right now. I, I, I feel that, AJ. But you know what? One day we'll get there. Exactly. We'll get a review out. <laughs> all right. So uh, Pokemon does, or Nintendo does what they do best. Get all the little stuff out of the way before the big one. Mm -hmm. And... Holy moly, in a sourdough rolly, it's finally here. Gen 9 is finally here, ladies and gentlemen. 
Scarlet and Violet have finally been announced at the end of that Pokemon. Yeah. Event. Of course, the new entries will not be releasing until late 2022. But if the trailer was anything to go by, I think we really are in for a treat. Mm -hmm. It seems that Scarlet and Violet are going to be open world like Arceus, which I think could be super cool and interesting if this is the new direction that they're going with the Pokemon I'm games. I'm very happy with that. Yeah. Uh, it gives you a lot more to explore mm -hmm. and just so much more content, I feel like. Uh, since it was a very early look into the new games, I don't think we can knock the graphics just yet, yeah. but I thought Magnemite looked very sleek and slick. He did. I feel like the graphics were definitely <laughs> controversial Yeah. from uh, the view. They definitely have a lot to work on. Absolutely. Like those trees? Yeah. Yeah. yeah it's also, some of the models look kind of yikes, but oh. I, at least the groundwork is there. Plus, yeah. you know, it happened with Arceus too. Like, it would look bad in the beginning, but then the final game looked fine. Yeah. Same with uh, Diamond and Pearl. Yeah. It looked really bad, and then it finally came out. Mm-hmm. And, you know, so uh, AJ and Ryan, before we get into the uh, who your starter is going to be, what are your thoughts on the brand new gen reveal? Uh, I thought that the protagonists look gross and I hate them. I agree. And I don't like their design. Yeah, they're very ugly and they, just, they don't look right. They look like wax figures. Yeah. Almost. Very uncanny know. valley. They're very uh, uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I don't like it. I agree. Ryan, what are your thoughts? Um, yeah, I didn't like, I, I didn't like the the characters mm -hmm. at all. Yeah. I mean, they look kind of silly. The protagonist yeah. was very... Yeah, I'll agree with AJ. Gross. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, Ryan, you also mentioned that the Scarlet and Violet design, like the font and whatnot, seemed very uh, basic. I mean, it kind of does. I mean, I, compared to Di Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl, I feel like this is a little bit of an improvement. I kind of like it. Well, Ryan, you're just wrong. How about that? Ha ha. Oh, all right. Get free. <laughs> Whoa. Wait, who's wrong? You. Oh. Isn't it always you, Ryan? <laughs> oh, you're saying AJ's wrong. No, 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 you are. I kind of like the design. I think it's all right. All right, whatever. All right. Um, whatever, you're... But I feel like I can't choose, obviously, which one. I, I feel like right now... Yeah, it's too early to... Pick. Yeah. Hey, Amanda, the starter you want to choose looks stupid. I'll <gasps> say that. Looks stupid. That's a good segue, Ryan. Amanda, what starter are you choosing? I'm choosing Quaxley, dude! The little duck, he's so cute! Looks stupid. Looks like a DuckTales reject. <laughs> looks stupid. This, this is... This is... We gotta love the, the sibling rivalry we have here at New Game Plus. Oh, yeah, Ryan? Well, yours is an apple. What's that about? A dinosaur apple. Name? I don't Qua understand. Quay Coco, yeah. Mm -hmm. The more I look at him, the cuter he gets, but I don't understand it. Quaxley is a cooler name than Quay Coco. Well, oh, wait, speaking of these oh, wow. names. Quaxley yeah, I don't like the names. Um, uh, Scarlet and Violet is um, projected to be based in Spain. That's what I was thinking. Which I think will be super, super cool. Yeah. Because S.H.I.E.L.D. was in England. Mm -hmm. So now well, we're in Spain. Beans on toast. Beans on toast. Rogue. Beans on toast will not be making a return. Well, you know no, what? Sadly. I guess you. I guess you could pack some in your bag and bring it with you. <laughs> bring bring some home along the journey. You know. <laughs> yeah, soggy beans on toast. Um, but yeah, no, right. Uh, right you know I'm what? choosing the cat. Yeah, I can't. <laughs> I'm choosing what? Sprig Sprigiato. Sprigiato. Sprigatito. Sprigat. Sprig Sprigatoni. <laughs> yeah. You know, pasta, pasta la vista. Exactly. I, uh, well, look at that. New Game Plus is representing each starter. Yeah, all three. Um, I'm a nice. duck person. The Holy Trinity. <laughs> New Game Plus. Okay. Quaxley. Fue Coco. <laughs> Quaxley, Fue Coco, Spriggy Otto. Oh, man. <laughs> Rises. Gotta love them. <laughs> um, but, yeah, so I'm, I'm very, very excited. Obviously, I just want to know what the legendaries look like. Uh, we're not going to know anything until, like, way late. I, yeah. They say late 2022. I'm thinking, like, November, December. I'd say that's about right. Yeah. Uh, but either way, I'm excited. I did not expect them to come out with Gen 9 because they've been mm -hmm. pumping out Diamond and Pearl, Arceus. Sword and Shield kept getting updates. Yeah. Unite. Yeah. So they've been nonstop. Mm -hmm. So I'm excited. I hope it's not rushed, but. Yeah. I mean, it shouldn't be. Because there's usually like a three-year gap between each generation. So this is like about when it would become out. Right. So like it should be all right. Yeah, we should be good. So yeah. I'm, I'm excited. Definitely. Uh, hopefully some improvements happen between now and the next showing of Scarlet and Violet. But 
I'm excited. I yeah. think it'll be. I think it'll be really cool. And I wonder if there's going to be any variants, regional variants. That's a good question. I mean, no. they've been setting that up with Arceus and since uh, Gen Seven, so maybe, 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 maybe we don't even know what region it's in. Yeah. So I guess we'll find out sooner or later. But that is our recap of the Pokemon mm -hmm. Presents. Thank you, Nintendo. Yes. I think you definitely did a good job mm -hmm. and uh, definitely put more faith into Pokemon us. fandom. Yes, exactly. Yes, thank you, Nintendo. Thank you, Doug. Uh, but I believe it is that time, guys. I think it is. Nice, as, short, and sweet. Yeah. As per usual, me and Amanda got to go home and play more video games. So And finish Diamond and Pearl. And finish Diamond and Pearl. As always, I'm AJ. That was Amanda. That was Ryan and our lovely interns. See you guys next week. Thanks for watching.